The general consensus of the art community is that this particular piece is not one of Fiona's strongest. The one-note color palette, combined with the rushed, if not almost sloppy, execution of the painting, certainly leaves something to be desired. It's also strongly derivative of Fiona's earlier, more exciting work, as is also the case for this piece, whose simplicity can be regarded as boring more so than intriguing. Again, with a hackneyed choice of color and rushed, sloppy aesthetic, one wonders if Fiona takes her chosen profession as an artist as seriously as she ought to. Hey, Zach. Uh, what are you up to, buddy? And why are you talking like that? Oh, I'm just reviewing some art for my art blog. And I'm talking like this because it's refined. Art blog? When did you start an art blog? Well, just this morning, actually. I'm working my way through Fiona's newest exhibition at the Cincinnati Gallery. You know, I just got a second. Just a second, please. I've got one more thing to do. <clears throat> Uh, for this piece, the third in her limited series entitled The Kiss, Fiona has slightly broadened her color palette, but has sadly not improved her technique. This third installment takes The Kiss series from repetitive to outright redundant. As a connoisseur of fine art, how these paintings have been so warmly received is honestly beyond me. I can only hope that the novelty of this Hippopotamus and her paintings eventually wears off, and Fiona can fade back into the relative obscurity of her pen at the Cincinnati Zoo. I'm sorry, did you just say Fiona was a hippopotamus? I certainly did. Fiona is a hippopotamus. She lives at the Cincinnati Zoo, and she paints paintings for them, which they sell to raise money for the zoo. But the paintings are just so horrendous. So, she's like, really a hippopotamus? You know, now that you mention it, I can totally see a hippo painting all of those paintings. It's just her little snout mark on the canvas. And they call it the kiss. How cute is that? What a great idea. No, no, it's not cute. It's pedestrian. And if you like it, I question your tastes. So, she's a hippo that only paints to raise money for charity, and you somehow have a problem with this, Zach? Zack, why are you being so harsh with her? That seems uncharacteristic of you, and truthfully, it's kind of mean. Cut her some slack, man. Listen, I'm sure Fiona is a perfectly fine hippo, but she is not an artist, and I am well within my rights to say so, no matter what the Bible says. The Bible? Why? What could the Bible possibly have to say about any of this? Well, in our scripture for today, we're told that we shouldn't be hypocritical. Well, that's true, but I don't see what that has to do with any of what's going on here. What's going on? What's wrong with being hypocritical? Why should hippos get a free pass on criticism? Huh? Fiona's paintings aren't bad. There, I said it. What, we're all just supposed to go tiptoeing around pretending like they're good because we're afraid of criticizing the hippopotamus? That's ridiculous. Oh, that is ridiculous. But it's ridiculous because you don't know what it means to be hypocritical, Zach. I think I do. If you read my art blog, you'll see that I do. No, Zach, being hypocritical doesn't have anything to do with criticizing hippopotamuses. It doesn't? It really does not. Being hypocritical means saying things that you don't really mean. It means that your actions don't line up with your words. It means that you don't practice what you preach. Oh, so like starting a blog dedicated to art criticism when in truth you know nothing about art? That's a good example, yes. But in our scripture for today, Jesus was actually calling out the Pharisees of his time for being hypocritical. They had a double standard where they expected more out of others than they did from themselves. And they liked the prestige and honor of having leadership roles in the church, but they didn't like to get their hands dirty by actually helping people. I could see where that would be a problem. It was. The church is about humility, not prestige. At least that's how it's supposed to be. Jesus actually even goes on to say that the greatest among us will be servants, and those who exalt themselves will be humbled. Wow. Uh, even the critics? <laughs> even the critics. You know, I might have been a little too harsh about these paintings. <laughs> you know what? Let's have a prayer together, and then I'll help you go back and do some rewrites, and maybe we can soften things up a bit. Will you pray with me? Dear God, we ask for your help in being humble. We ask for your help in letting our actions line up with our words, and we ask for your help in being sincere and not hypocritical. You know, we pray all these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
All right, we'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.